Another big question that comes up, and it certainly has come up in your mind over the last few days, viewer, is does India consider Hamas a terrorist group? If not, why not? And does India plan to officially designate Hamas a terrorist group? I'm going to try and answer this question because I've been thinking about it ever since Congress MP Shashi Tharoor said this when he was asked a direct question about whether his party considers Hamas a terrorist group. I'm not going to get into how the Congress party's official statement doesn't even mention terrorism. But first, listen to what Dr. Tharoor said on India Today. There's never any excuse for terrorism. India must condemn it unreservedly, and I agree with the government that they condemned it and they stood with the victims of terror. The terrorist organization label is one we're very careful not to follow other countries' leads in these matters. The U.S. considers Hamas a terrorist organization, so does Israel. India has not made any such classification, and I'm going to stick to the Indian position uh, that these are terrorist acts, but to call everybody in Hamas, there are political elements of Hamas who... One day we may have to negotiate with, or the Israelis may have to negotiate with. So let me just say these are terrorist acts. There's never any excuse for terrorism. India must condemn it unreservedly. And I agree with the government that they condemned it and they stood with the victims of terror. Shashi Tharoor is technically correct. Hamas is not on India's list of 42 proscribed terrorist organizations. So now you're wondering why not? This goes to the heart of India's foreign policy viewer, which not only recognizes the state of Palestine, but calls for a peaceful two-state solution to the decades-long crisis. Pursuant to India's policy, Hamas as the ruling organization in the Gaza Strip has been technically seen thus far as part of the Palestinian political apparatus and not as a terror group. The question now is, should India, in light of what has just taken place in Israel, designate Hamas as a terrorist group in line with its unambiguous statements issued by the Indian Prime Minister? So far, let me remind you, the only statements that carry no ifs or buts. As India mounts a campaign to expose the hypocrisy of foreign governments that treat India-proscribed terrorists as mere citizens, can India continue to view Hamas as just a political group? It's complicated, but let me go a little deeper because there are many gray areas here, viewer. Hamas is officially tagged a terrorist group only by Israel, the US, UK, EU, Australia, Japan, and Paraguay, which is in South America. Most of these countries have done so either because they have large and influential Jewish populations and close ties with Israel. Whatever their reasons, they stand astonishingly vindicated today, don't they? So when the Congress party in India chooses not to mention Hamas or terror in its statement, it poses a dilemma for a country like India. Thousands of Israeli citizens holiday in India after their compulsory military service. The India-Israel relationship has blossomed in the last two decades into a close partnership tied together by high-tech trade, military exchanges and personal bonhomie between leaders like Modi and Netanyahu. So should India take this friendship a step further by designating Hamas a terrorist group? India can well argue that it doesn't have a bone in this fight and doesn't contribute anything other than symbolically by banning Hamas. It is far away from this crisis and engages, let's face it, both Israel and Palestine. But all of this boils down to one final point. After the October 7th attack, can anyone call Hamas? just a political organization anymore? Can anyone regard Hamas as a group with just one radicalized part? No matter what the political compulsions, exigencies or distance, can Hamas today, viewer, be seen as anything other than a terrorist organization?